This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Gamefly. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. The show title didn't give it away. This is the show where we round up rumors from the tech world. Up this week, Samsung smartwatch, Google Glass, consumer edition might be cheaper than you think. Apple is gearing up to show us what's next for the iPhone and a BlackBerry phablet that maybe two of you are excited about might be coming. This is Rumor Roundup. I'm John Rettinger. Let's get started. don't know much about Samsung's rumored smartwatch, the Galaxy Gear, but according to a new report, the device may be ready for the spotlight. <laughs> Sam Mobile's got a pretty reliable track record. Reports that the wearable device will be unveiled at the unpacked event scheduled for my birthday, September 4th in Berlin, alongside the Galaxy Note 3. Based on recent Samsung patents, likely the company's new smartwatch will be called the Galaxy Gear. The wearable tech will sync with your Galaxy smartphone, providing quick access to music, email, text messages, and hopefully some other notifications. It's possible though it will support other Android devices too. The device is also expected to feature a curved screen which may even implement the company's flexible display technology which would be pretty badass. Either way though, Techno Buffalo is going to be in Berlin for the unpacked event to bring you live coverage of everything that's happening. So that'll be awesome. I will not be there. Uh, Ashley will be uh, covering the event. It's too close to the birth of my son coming sometime in the month of September, but we'll have all that news for you, so stay tuned. We really love Google Glass, but a 1500 bucks is way out of reach for most casual techies. Thankfully though, when the device is mass produced, it may cost as little as 300 according to topology research Jason Tsai. How will Google slash a cost from 1500 freaking dollars to 300 a big part of that price drop, though, might be the company's recent investment in Hymax Display, a Taiwan-based company that supplies the heads-up display, or I like to call them HUD, components. Back in July, the search giant bought up 6.3% stake in the manufacturer, which should help speed up production of the liquid crystal on silicon display module and bring the cost of each HUD down to just 35 smackaroos. I think when we do see Google Glass, if it comes in maybe three to 500, I think we'll see a huge adoption rate. What do you think? What price would Google Glass have to be for you to buy it? Leave them in the comments in my pants. September 10th is coming soon and Apple might show us what's coming up. They're expected to announce their next generation iPhones, according to a report from the pretty reliable All Things D. Over the past several months, the speculation for Apple's next mobile devices has been at a fever pitch, particularly surrounding the company's supposed budget iPhone. Harder to pin down though is what we'll get with the next flagship iPhone, likely be called the iPhone 5S. So betas of Apple's upcoming iOS 7 upgrade have been coming fast and furious. We imagine they're going to spend time going over the OS's biggest features and maybe a few changes of what we saw when it first was teased back in June. So regardless, coming soon, September 10th is not that far away. Uh, we're gonna be getting an iPhone 5S, probably an iPhone 5C, and maybe something fancy might be there as well, uh, but we have yet to know. BlackBerry's long-rumored phablet, which we expect to be called the Z30, is leaked again, this time in a video showing off a fully operating version of the upcoming handset. The video was posted by S Channel, a pretty new YouTube account, which claims the Z30 will hit stores this fall. We also saw AT&T's logo smack dab in the back of the device. The video also shows BlackBerry's camera application and highlights Jetpack Joyride on the large screen. The Z30, initially rumored to be called the A10, is part of BlackBerry's second phase of 2013 as they attempt to build some sort of momentum. Let me take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Gamefly. Gamefly is the largest online video game rental service and offers you a choice from over 7,000 new and classic titles across consoles and handhelds. With plans starting at just $15.95 a month, Gamefly members can rent one to four games at a time and keep them for as long as they like. There's no late fee, no due dates, and shipping is totally free. And once you're done playing the game, just send it back and Gamefly will send you the next available game on your list. If you really like the game you're playing, simply click keep it on the Gamefly website and the game is yours at a discounted price. Gamefly will even mail you the cakes and manuals free of charge. Techno Buffalo fans get a 15 day free trial when they go to Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo. 15 day free trial again, go to Gamefly.com slash Techno Buffalo. If there's a game you want to play, but you don't want to go out and buy it, it's a perfect way to do it. Let me stop from the video for just a minute to remind you that I host another show called Techno Buffalo's Driven. You can check it out right here. And this week's episode was pretty freaking awesome. We went to a demolition derby. We interviewed the drivers of Demolition Derby. I got to hang out in the pit and you got to see cars just smack into each other on purpose. It looked like a high school parking lot in there. Uh, it was a whole lot of fun. Check the video out. We had a blast making it. Hope you guys enjoy 
enjoy watching it. So thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed. Please give the video a thumbs up. We most definitely appreciate it. And check us out at technobuffalo.com. Till next week, I'm John Reitinger, and I'll see you next video. What's up everyone, John here. Just wanted to let you know that if you liked what you just saw, we've got two other shows that go live every single week. Ask the Buffalo, where our very own Ashley Escada answers your burning gadget questions and Rettinger's Rants, where quite obviously I go off on things that bug me across consumer tech. If you want to see me get super red-faced and mad, you should click the text below that says subscribe and check out our other shows by clicking right over here. I'll see you guys next time.